August exam brief for those students who are appearing August exam. We have two exam windows. We follow protocols of International Accreditation Forum, International Accreditation Services, UASN, ISO 23993. And our programs are structured as per the audit requirements of NIPH and GCA hospitals. And that is why NSA certificates are very well accepted. And most of the healthcare professionals, nutritionists, dietitian, doctors, they prefer NSA certificate. If you walk in, in any corporate hospital, you will meet random 10 people. Out of those 10, three will be our students, either a nurse, a doctor, or a healthcare manager. We have healthcare management courses, clinical courses, nutrition and dietetics, and psychology related courses, right? Two exam windows, August exam and February. For August, exam dates are 22nd August to 31st August. So this is an exam window, right? It means you can appear exam anytime before 31st August, right? You get exam link on 22nd and 23rd. If you get, so there are two or three versions of exams, right? So typically the system randomly allots people and sends on 22nd and some people on 23rd. The earlier, if you get the link, it means it is little harder version. If you get the link on 23rd, it means the link is easy. So, right? So you are lucky the system has selected you for sending easy version 23rd by 24th morning. If you do not get the link, then you can WhatsApp me or Anish one time when you WhatsApp, WhatsApp your name, email ID and course name. We have 10,000 students, including management, clinical, nutrition, psychology, right? So please write your name, email ID and course name. And in 24 hours, we will send the link. Please avoid calling in the middle of the night. So exam link comes by email. You can click the email, you can open the email, you can read all the instructions. Inside the email, there is one link. It will mention exam link, okay? This link will work only one time. Right. So make sure that you are completely ready and you are prepared to appear the exam. Before 31st August, you can appear this exam one time with this link. You click the link and the exam will start immediately. Your timer starts. Within one hour, you have to click on the submit button. Right. You can appear the exam with your mobile, laptop, computer, iPad, tablet, anything, provided you have the internet connection. Make sure you have a good internet when you click on the submit button also, right? Otherwise it will keep on rotating, 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 and then it keeps on doing that. Okay. One hour. So exam is for one hour, 50 questions, 60 minutes, no negative marks. 100 total marks, 100. Each question carries two marks, right? Previous year, it was 25 questions. Most likely this year, it will be 50 questions, right? No negative marks, so you appear all the questions, okay? Now you might think that 60 minutes, 50 questions, sufficient time. You can open the book. You cannot because time is very limited. The system will make sure that it will waste your time for the first 10 to 15 minutes. It will ask you first, enter your name, mobile, postal address, everything very properly, very detailed information. It will take around 10 to 15 minutes to enter. So you are remain with one minute, one question. Around 50 minutes or 45 minutes will remain at the end of entering all these details. right? And uh, then, in one minute, one question, it is difficult to go to the book and find the answer because to find the answer, you should know where is the answer. And I assure you, you cannot find a single answer on the internet because the answers are questions, samples. When I tell you, then you will realize at least two times you have to read. If you want to score more than 80% marks, you read the both the books two times. If you read one time, you will score 70% marks. If you do not read, 
you will fail. If you fail, you can appear second time in February. There is no extra charge for that. But you cannot appear second attempt in the August itself. If you pass and you score less marks, 60%, and you want to upgrade those marks, it is not allowed. You will get disqualified. Second attempt in the August window itself will disqualify you. In case of disqualification, there is no refund. So do not do that, right? I tell you what, what will happen, okay? So you appear one exam, then you score 62. Some people, some students, okay? Super, super ultra legends. So what they do is they appear one exam, one attempt, then they score 62 because they are not read and they think that, okay, I will appear second time now. Then they inform Anishma, relation manager or me, Ki, sir, please send the link. So we do not have access to the exam portal. We will not check whether you have completed exam or not. We will just forward your message to exam team and exam team will send you the new link. Then that girl will appear the second attempt. Second attempt will be the harder version or difficult version. Okay. And I assure you second attempt will make you score less marks as compared to first attempt. Irrespective you pass or fail in the second attempt, you will be disqualified. Okay. Do not do second attempt in August itself. If you fail, second attempt is February. If you pass, done. You will get the certificate. It does not mention marks. You will get the marks result by email. It also displays, the screen will also display your score. Okay. And you will get an email also. Right. So it is very important to enter the correct email ID. And this email ID has to match. Okay, your registration email, your exam email where you got the exam link and the email which you entered now in exam should match. Make sure you write the correct name. If you have got newly married, find out what is the spelling of your husband and avoid any auto spelling corrections. Okay. Yeah, some newly married, they are getting blushed. That is good. So it only means that you do not know the correct spelling. So make sure you enter correct spelling and be sure what spelling, whatever name you enter on in the exam will come in the certificate. There is no correction. It takes very tedious effort and six months process to correct. Don't do that. Disable all your auto spelling correction, everything. In case, in a sincere scenario of a technical difficulty, right? Don't worry then. We will help you out. Okay, if it is a sincere scenario, of a network issue or a technical difficulty, either from your side, our side, we will resolve it in next 24 hours. We will send you link, new link. It, what is the meaning of this is that, don't wait till the last date of the exam. I tell you example. So some students, they come from a background where they are always appearing exams, studying or doing homework assignments, projects at the last hour on the last day. Are you like that? Raise your hand like this if you are that person, right? You are always doing at the last moment, everything. Even if your camera is off, you can raise your hand. Yeah. Harish must be, Harish is smiling very loudly. Like he said, yes, sir, I am there, but I'm ashamed to raise my hand. Oh, that's good. <laughs> okay. So don't wait till the last date because on 31st, for example, evening, if you have a difficulty on 31st afternoon, you have difficulty. Okay, and um, then you WhatsApp. We can resolve that difficulty next day. And the next day becomes February. You understood? Because 31st August exam window will close, right? It doesn't matter whether the technical difficulty was from your side, our side, you informed us in time or no, it doesn't matter. Our processing time for resolving the technical difficulty in exam is 24 hours, right? So don't wait till 31st August. There are some extremely brilliant students. They start their exam 11 p.m. 31st August. And then 11.59, they click on the submit button and suddenly the window goes like this, round, round, round. It does not submit and they get panic, right? And then two things they do. They WhatsApp so many times, they will call. So I have instructed Anishma, if anyone is calling her in the middle of night, block them immediately. Don't worry. And my WhatsApp, I typically block. 
and I don't check my WhatsApp after 5 p.m. Okay, so don't call us in the middle of the night. If you want your difficulties to be solved, appear well in advance, right? So anyways, irrespective of you call us, you WhatsApp us, that technical difficulty from your side, our side. If you appear on 31st August, you are taking a risk. In case of any issue, your exam will get postponed to February. Exam window, Singapore head office, they do not keep the exam window open after 31st August, right? And uh, I have a very uh, clear digital uh, well-being protocol. After 5 p.m., I don't check my WhatsApp. Okay, and I appreciate you also to WhatsApp me before 5 p.m. Sometimes uh, there are some doctors and nurses who are in the night duty. Okay, or you you are at home or an engineer or some other background and you are a nocturnal animal, right? You are playing video games and suddenly 2 a.m. you realize, okay, now I should have your exam, right? And then uh, you face some difficulty and immediately you start calling. No, we are human beings with family and we will sleep in the night. We will not answer your calls. We will not resolve your difficulties in the middle of night. Whatever is difficulty, please wait till next day and send us WhatsApp, just a single WhatsApp. Don't call so many times because it will not resolve. Single WhatsApp, name, your email ID and the course. And again, we will take 24 hours to resolve it. Okay, to send you the new link. So do not wait till 31st August. Moral of the story is try to appear by 30th August, unless you are a gambler, right? Okay, it is very less likely to have any technical difficulty. It happens only when you face some network issue. From our side, technical difficulty is not there. We are very perfect. Okay. If you have read the book twice and still you are afraid, then make sure you appear the exam because by overcoming the fear, you get confidence. Don't worry. If you read the book twice, you will score easily. Don't worry. You will pass. Right? If you have not read the book and you just want, okay, I want to try it. Don't do that. Don't waste your attempt. Because if you are just trying in August, so most likely February also, you will come with same scenario. And if you fail in February, then you don't have one attempt left. Understand? Right? So if you're not prepared, it's okay to appear in February. There's no charge. And if someone fails in August, you can appear in February. Again, there is no charge. Okay. But recent admissions, you're allotted for February. Say, don't try to prepone it to August. Avoid that. Because then classes, you will be removed from the classes. <laughs> so good point, Praveen. So we can do that. So, okay. So to resolve Praveen's question, 50 questions, 50 minutes is the exam time. Good. 10 minutes are to enter your details. Or now you may uh, appear the questions, answer the questions in the sequence. Okay. There is uh, in the, your Chrome browser or Safari at the top, there is a back button. Do not press that because this back button will close your exam window and your link is also deactivated. And now your exam is also incompletely submitted. Avoid doing that. If you want to go to the previous question or the front question at the bottom right side, there is a front button and back button. You can go there, but do not skip the questions in an uh, effort that you will appear at the end. You will not find time. And to scroll back to the 50 questions is difficult. Huh? And you are panicking at the last moment. Right? So appear the questions as it comes. In case if you want to change the answer, you can always go back to the previous question by clicking the back button and the front button at the bottom right corner. And the submit button, the submit button gets activated only when you reach the last question. The submit button is visible at the last question. Right. So make sure you click on the submit button. As soon as you click on the submit button, your window will show what is your score and you will also get the email. Make sure you enter the correct email ID because change of email ID is difficult. Okay. Name and email 
and mobile these three things cannot be changed address still okay right if you enter incomplete address at least try to avoid doing that because you get certificate okay so uh if you change your location when you took admission you had a different address and now you have different address you can enter the new address no problem if you change your name because of your marriage or if you want to correct your spelling now in the exam you can write okay as long as we are able to identify that this is the same person okay system should be able to detect so two years back there was one student she had changed her name and surname everything completely and she entered the new name and surname new mobile new email id we could not identify who is this person right so avoid doing that uh yeah yes jolin yes okay indirani uh, mock exam is not available but i will give you sample questions today good why mock is not available because the exam is straight forward and it is not on uh, theoretical questions or data related questions or number values okay it will be major on symptoms which food deficiency excess or recommendation okay all those not rd i am not talking of rd okay recommendations means uh, lactating mother wants a my lactating mother has come to, samples okay a lactating mother has come to you for uh, uh, dietetic counseling and uh, she wants to have uh, increase food which is high in calcium and protein what will you recommend this is open question right now it depends on the options what is given most of the time the, such questions have all of the above as the answer right pulses lentils milk soya bean eggs non veg all those things right so uh, and also typically for a pregnant and lactating mother we advise them not to have um uh, what is that soya sauce okay it is considered harmful sometimes okay good another question <clears throat> a mother comes to you with this 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 symptoms okay right the child has uh, uh the child is around 6 years and uh, has hair uh, some gray hairs okay and you observe the nails the nails have white marks what is the diagnosis which molecule white marks so not the pale nails pale nails is different okay the whole nails are right white marks means protein my dear protein protein deficiency very good kanchana right a mother comes to you saying that the child is uh, growing in height but not in weight okay which food products you should add what will you add in this child since height is growing it means protein is sufficient right but the child is playing so what is lacking energy is lacking which is a energy dense product fat fat and carbohydrate so add butter cheese right all those things correct so fats and carbohydrates you will add right. very good pravin tricky question okay a mother comes to you <clears throat> uh and having a 10 years old child and the child is not brushing the teeth properly you talk to the child and you ask what is the reason that you are not brushing your teeth the child says whenever she brushes her teeth she gets bleeding or she gets blood stain on her toothbrush diagnosis is scurvy okay so if she has given the diagnosis 
So that is difficult. Correct. Scurvy. Very good. Indirani. So now you understood vitamin C. So which food items you will ask the mother to add? Citrus fruits. Very good. So amla is not available all the season. Very good. Oranges, amla, tomato. Okay. Lemon. The simplest will be probably tablet limsi or syrup limsi. Okay. Very good. So all of the A Jain family comes to you, okay, a Jain couple, right? They think that their uh, child has some deficiency, okay? You are yet to meet the child. You are not asked the signs and symptoms. From your knowledge, what do you think is, uh, is a possible deficiency? Jain family, yeah. What can be the possible deficiencies in pure vegetarian food? Which vitamin has exclusive source from animals? Vitamin, tricky question. My dear B complex, B family, it is there in leafy vegetables, right? So it is less likely, right? Vitamin A is there in most of the fruits. C is also there in fruits, right? Protein carbohydrate fat is also there in uh, Jain food, which correct. Iron is also there, my dear, leafy vegetables and everything, vitamin D. So this vitamin has exclusive source from animals. Like it? Right now, difficult level question. Okay, difficult level question will be vitamin B3 deficiency can lead to vitamin B3. If I give you so, all the three four options will be very confusing. So, the name of the disease for vitamin B1, B3, B6, B12, all the things will be given. So you will get confused, right? Okay. Pelagra, berry, berry, all those things are very confusing, huh? right? Okay. <clears throat> Nutrition, which simple question, which product is called the bodybuilding block? Which molecule? Which is considered as the fuel for brain? <laughs> so brain maximum thing is fat and water if fat is the food or fuel for brain then it will eat itself cannot be so the logic is it should be carbohydrate right so carbohydrate is the fuel for brain Anishma now you ask some questions okay from your classes now, Anishma will give you some of the sample questions, okay? Uh, so, the majority of the uh, questions are based on our deficiency, best sources, and uh, what are the toxicity levels of certain vitamins. So, like you can, like for example, if there are 50 questions, okay, 50 questions, at least 30 questions are very simple level, like just, just now how you answered, okay? Most of the questions will be based on various deficiencies of vitamins, macronutrients, as well as micronutrients and uh, trace uh, minerals uh, also. But five to 10 questions will come from the difficult uh, part. Okay. So uh, for that, uh, somebody has asked, do they uh, like, do you have to remember or memorize the uh, pathophysiology or not no it's not required I, I do explain the pathophysiology in class just for your knowledge to make you understand how diseases 
start based on some random facts, how diseases start and how they manifest, that's it. But you do not have to memorize any pathophysiology, okay? But there are some, uh, for example, let's say for calcium, okay? Uh, the data which is given in textbook, okay, it is a little bit older data, but uh, like for practical applications, it's uh, difficult, uh, it's different, okay? For example, calcium, uh, could you just answer from the uh, textbook point of view, not what you apply in your real life, what is the uh, RTA for calcium? Can anyone just uh, put in the chat box? For adults, adults, okay? For men and women, it's almost the same calcium requirement, it's same from textbook, okay? Yeah, in textbook, it, they have given it's uh, 600 mg, but when we check the recent articles which are IC, MR has published it's 800 so that is remain to, uh, remaining to be updated okay so like uh, these are the values which you have to remember like even if somebody wakes you up in the middle of the night and asks you like uh, my weight is like 50 kg 55 kg what how much calories I should have I live a sedentary lifestyle so what would be your answer like nowadays uh, the entire nutrition and diet is uh, plan everything it completely like maniac behind the calories okay they they just want the calorie count calorie count how much should i eat how much should i eat people want to be uh, like calorie deficient and so on so what do you think a, a person man or woman doesn't matter 55 kilo kilogram okay what would be a calorie intake i have not mentioned height and weight here but from your point of view it should not be beyond 2000 calories because 55 kilograms, it should not be beyond 2000 calories. But if you want to calculate the exact amount of calories, it's like many of the students come to us and ask, give us the diet plan of this disease, give us the diet plan of this disease. I have mentioned earlier, like you have to make a diet plan. Even I have guided you uh, to use uh, the appendix, which you have to use from the dietetics uh, uh, textbook that in the appendix you will find two diet plans one is for the adult man with non-vegetarian diet and one is for the adult man with vegetarian diet okay so when you go from the like as sir has mentioned when you read the chapters okay when you read the chapters based on disease conditions in every chapters exclusively they have mentioned what is the calories this particular patient who is suffering from so and so disease they have to maintain okay so based on that now you have the calories you have a, a foundational diet plan already given in your textbook. Now you have to use the formulas and all which we have discussed. This is not for exam, but for practical purposes. Now you have to know, like if we give you ready-made diet plan, you will not understand, okay? From why did uh, this source give chapa two chapatis to this person, but three chapati chapatis in another diet plan, okay? You will not understand. So you have to formulate base, based on on the formulas like the saint uh, mj formulas etc which we have discussed okay based on that formulas as well as the a foundational diet plan which is already available available with you you have to come up with a diet plan for specific disorders then only you will understand how to subjectively tweak the diet plans here and there okay not from for exam point of view just for your practical purposes but like uh, the allowances for calcium or uh, for a sedentary lifestyle, what is the calorie requirement? 2,500 2, to 2,500 kilocalories, not more than that. These all things you should always keep in mind, okay? These like generalized uh, theories, these, these things you should keep in mind, okay? Apart from that, uh, as Sir has mentioned, the question uh, on uh, live here, the uh, most of the five to seven questions will be from the difficult ankle if you are that smart if you are that thorough with your uh, learning and knowledge obviously you can score about 90 but if you have a general idea of the entire nutritional dietics textbook you have at least read it uh, twice definitely you can score more than 70 percentage okay so only there will be around five to six questions with a with a tough ankle to it okay uh, it is little bit theoretical remaining all the questions are knowledge based okay remaining all 90% of the questions will be knowledge based okay so please concentrate even in the at the beginning of the star classes we have discussed please concentrate on the deficiencies 
toxicities and the best sources of specific vitamins, macronutrients and micro-minerals. That's it. That's it. Vishma, can you give some samples uh, question on uh, deficiency uh, mm. without giving the options? Uh, okay. Uh, like, for example, um, let's say pantothenic acid. Okay. It's, uh, it's a big complex uh, vitamin. Or, or let's say, let's say biotin. Uh, biotin. Okay. Which is the best source of uh, biotin? Vegetarian source. Vegetarian best source of biotin. Like that should be that it's a it's a like a, see something it is it should be very cost effective also it's also very cost effective best source of biotin vegetarian source not the not the pharmaceutical ones vegetarian source it's ground nuts yes all the nuts especially ground nuts okay not just for biotin also for other a trace vitamin B complex, ground nuts, very cost effective throughout the year, you will find ground nuts in any of the Indian kitchen, okay, before falling into the pharmaceutical supplements of biotin, start your dietary changes with something that is as simple as ground nuts, a handful of ground nut a day could prevent various vitamin um, B deficiencies like biotin, if you're so like concentrated on your hair, your skin, etc. Start by correcting your vitamin B deficiency. Okay, so that's that's an example of sample visions. Who wants more examples from Anishma? More examples? Okay, wow, that's great. Anishma, can you give more examples, please? Toxicity or deficiency or other things? Yeah. Uh, so yesterday we had discussed um, toxicity of iron, if anybody remembers, toxicity of iron. There is only one toxicity in the entire chapter they have mentioned, just one toxicity of iron. The, the, the disease condition. Yeah, hemochromatosis. The constipation is the is a symptom. It's not the condition. So you have to know the difference between this. So again, these are medical terminologies. So you should know the difference between what is the signs and symptoms and what is the uh, condition. Okay. Constipation is a side effect. Yeah, side effects. A minor side effect and a, probably a most common side effect with iron, right? But hematochromatosis is the correct answer, right, Anisha? Which is the correct answer? Yeah. The other one uh, she had mentioned, hematochromatosis. Very good, Twinkle. Yeah. <laughs> Which is so the, like that. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a supplement. Uh, it contains other products, but it also contains one more product which will antagonize the iron. Which is that product? So there are some supplements available in the market which has two antagonizing products. One is iron and another is something else. And both will prevent each other absorption, right? So these things you need to keep in mind when you take up the supplements. Being a nutritionist and dietitian, you are not authorized to give any medications, including supplement, vitamin, anything, okay? Unless you are a doctor, right? So protein powder, all those commercial things, Nutritionist, dietitian, they routinely give. It's okay. But vitamin A, vitamin B, zinc weight, supradin, B cosules. So these are all Schedule H products. Though in India, they are available over the counter without prescription. But as per the protocol, it should be given by the doctor. Right. So we tend to take it on our own, own also. Right. Um, supplements typically... Uh, many of the nutritionists and dietitians, uh, they are able to give as long as it does not contain steroids or vitamin components, right? And I tell you a very funny thing about the supplements, okay? So this is an important part now for you. For supplements, <clears throat> for example, if some uh, 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 person who is into weightlifting exercise and gymnast, so has a certain requirement for protein per day. 
this protein requirement cannot be met with protein supplements because when you read the box the content it will say each 100 gram of this powder contains this 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 things right so you will have to eat 100 gram of that powder do you per day do you mean what is the meaning in 10 days you have to eat 1 kg of that product do you really do that no typically people take one spoon two spoon 10 gram 20 gram max right so that is not the correct substitution for protein or calcium the correct substitution or correct supplement for protein or calcium is who will answer this eggs milk fish chicken soya bean right so the content, the percentage wise protein, every 100 gram contains how much percentage of protein, how much calcium. If you see in this protein powders commercially available versus you see in the egg, you see in soya bean. So this egg and soya bean natural component, they have higher. Okay. Non-veg has higher. In non-veg, you don't recommend uh, meat or mutton because of high fat component right but you recommend starting from fish then chicken right and preferably the eggs you should add okay so don't uh, make your practice or your freelancing based on uh, this commercially available uh, protein powders right there are many good companies and there are many uh, just uh, uh, companies who just sell it and uh, carefully read what is the content actually okay and uh, some of the companies which are not registered sometimes they may have certain products which are not allowed in a combination okay so good companies they follow the protocols which is allowed but again with that you should check a uh, hundred gram contains how much so then 10 gram contains how much right so this 10 gram should be equal to your rda right but it does not meet so your food is better so <clears throat> there are some commercially available products so what they do is they find out who is a nutritionist who is a dietitian they will approach and then they have some commercial arrangement between them okay so that is the reason someone might prescribe right but most of the nutritionists and dietitian and doctors i have seen they are very ethical they don't give uh, protein powders just for commercial reason they give it only when they believe it that will be beneficial for the client very good question twinkle so the question is if a person in diet is not taking carbs and protein from the diet they can take protein powder. No, it cannot supplement my dear, right? So how much protein powder they will have to take? 100 gram means 10 in 10 days, one kg box, 5,000, 3,000, whatever the cost of that box, right? And it is not a financial viable. It is not healthy for the kidney also. The naturally occurring proteins and these artificial proteins, they have the difference. So what is the difference? Naturally occurring protein like eggs, it will have all the essential amino acids. Right? Soybean will have around 80% essential amino acids. Okay. Chicken will have maximum component of essential amino acids. Right? But this artificially available protein powder, they cannot have complete or all amino acids. Plus they will have certain things which is not recommended beyond certain level, right? Plus, they will not meet your daily requirement. Yes, Anishma, please. You want to answer, Anishma? Correct. So, higher. Now, um, some protein powders may have certain component. Uh, for... Yes, sir. About uh, the... about uh... Yeah. Uh, uh, may I speak, sir? Uh, about uh, twinkle change question about a person who is in diet like whatever diet somebody is following there's a specific calorie which they require 
So you can't compensate the entire calorie requirement for a day just based on nutritional supplements or protein. You have to incorporate carbs from at least some grams of carbs or like uh, uh, portion sizes are there. Even about the portion size, please check the chapter on menu planning. Detail like whatever we use in Indian cuisines from North India to South Indian, whatever pulses of cereals we use, portion si uh, size, the per gram, how much calories you will get, it is there in the textbook. Please follow that. Even in like whatever crash diet you are, you will require some calories and uh, protein powders can never give you like your fulfill your calorie requirements. So like don't please don't depend on protein powder for calorie requirements. That's it. So that's what I Thank you, Rishma. I will tell one, one more reason that a naturally occurring food will have certain other nutrients and micro minerals, right? Which will not be there in a protein powder. It cannot be, right? And person will have deficiency on this. Second, do you know that there is something called <clears throat> um, if, if you do a crash diet or if you diet, okay, right? And uh, uh, put your body to deficiency of carbohydrate and proteins. What will happen is the body metabolism rate will fall. Okay. And you are eating less, but there is going to be one day you are going to eat normal, right? So after a few months, few weeks or few days, few hours. Right? So when you start eating normal, this metabolism rate is less already. It has decreased because you had a diet plan. Okay, crash diet. This metabolism rate will continue to be low. And when you start eating normal, this will lead to obesity, refractory obesity. Right? And this obesity will not uh, respond to your exercise and other things. Sometimes this crash diet and all those uh, putting yourself to deficiency of naturally occurring food, it leads to thyroid or other dysfunctions. Okay? which is not good, okay? Once someone has a thyroid imbalance, most likely the person will have refractory obesity, right? And the treatment for thyroid is very tricky, right? Those who have that, they know that. Okay, every two, three months, you have to check your thyroid levels. You have to adjust the dose, reduce it, start it, stop it, all those things, okay? Right? So if you want to reduce your weight, if you want to advise a client how to reduce the weight. So educate the client on this aspect so that they will not go to somewhere else who is providing a crash diet. You retain that client. Number two, you tell the client that it is very important to maintain your normal uh, requirement, carbohydrate, proteins, and fats. Okay. Number three, it is important to maintain your mineral or uh, nutrient requirements, which comes from the food. Supplements cannot substitute that. If you want to lose weight, your objective should not be to lose weight. Convert that. Your objective should be to lose fat. Right? And to lose fat, you have to reduce your fat consumption, increase your protein consumption, reduce your carbohydrate a little bit, but within the dietary allowance, and increase your exercise. Increase the calorie spend. Keep yourself calorie deficient. When I say keep yourself calorie deficient, it cannot be through the fasting. It has to be through the exercise. Right? Okay. So that is a way. And <clears throat> objective is not to lose weight. Objective is to lose fat. Right? Another way to lose weight is to reduce your sodium content. So when you reduce your sodium and sugar content in the food, it will reduce your water in the body, extracellular water. And this will reduce your weight further. Some of the crash diets, they add this medicines, tell me certain and all those products. Okay, just to reduce immediately, a negative, have maintain a negative sodium balance. So the client will feel, uh, feel that, okay, within two days, they have lost the weight. But it is artificial, right? So when you eat salt or canned can food, or the fast food or uh, sugar, uh, it increases your water retention. And this leads to higher weight. So if you reduce these things and you replace with the salad in your diet, that will automatically reduce your weight by 2-3 kg immediately.
good question rupika so there are some clients who have this uh, uh, very obese and all so there are the first thing is identify what is the medical reason for obesity right sometimes it is a psychological condition also okay i tell you both the things so most common medical one of the common medical condition is thyroid deficiency if someone is hypothyroid they will lead to refractory obesity someone has undergone a crash diet multiple times it leads to low metabolic rate and then increase it number 2 there are some people who are genetic predisposition for obesity number 3 one of the common reason in women is pcod hormonal imbalance so a gynecologist md doctor endocrinologist they need to evaluate whether this is a cause right number 4 psychological conditions right if the person has generalized anxiety disorder or always anxious always having palpitations fast heart rate breathing sweating get panic keeps on overthinking so you release adrenaline from your adrenal cortex and this adrenaline deposits fats in your abdomen okay which is more harmful all neha you will learn as you learn with the chapters and read the chapters and uh, attend more classes okay anish bhai you want to say something please start uh, yes sir uh, about uh, bariatric bariatric surgery uh, clients uh, the, sur the surgeon will have advised them specifically what they have to eat what they have to avoid and even like the amount of water they consume okay uh, like uh, how many hours before food after food even the water they have to consume even that is given by the surgeon so as nutritionist or dietitian or dietitian we can't get involved too much with the bariatric surgery patients because uh, the guidelines are given to them from their uh, post surgery uh, discharge sheet they will have all the guidelines from the surgeon itself so they have to follow that okay so someone got the nobel prize for intermittent fasting twinkle is saying this so who is that person what is the uh, research you read complete now and uh, inform me also so maybe something is there so okay. medical uh, things keep on changing correct smruti very good question so as we covered so find out what is a medical condition medical reason is it pcod or a psychological condition or anxiety disorder or a thyroid related or sometimes a growth hormone related okay or it can be diabetes right or a diet sedentary lifestyle okay genetic predisposition okay any anything else you want to know about exam exam questions some good magazines for nutrition dietetic updates kanjana you can google and find out my dear but instead of buying the magazines and all so you can go to medscape medscape is a good place for all the uh, medical related updates medscape okay and now make sure that you subscribe to click on this link i have sent you subscribe to the nsa channel as well as make sure you subscribe on the nsa channel to get the updates and the second channel is for your classes okay all the classes are uploaded on the second channel okay
Okay, so condition related, we will take some time later again. As of now, we focus, uh, bring our focus back to exam. Brief. Okay. Lactation. So Deepika is asking, sir, what are the important questions for lactation? So those who have lactation exam, it's a very easy exam. Being an Indian mother or Indian woman, you know lactation. But there are scientific things you should know about lactation. So in NSC lactation counseling, we have a very good and big book okay, on lactation, especially for the new batch. And it covers all the guidelines from American Academy of Pediatrician, Scotland Lactation Council, WHO, and CDC. Okay. So, and uh, this gives all the steps, the winning method, starting method, instruction for the mother, instruction for the father, instruction for the child, instruction for you, instruction for Sasuma, all the things are given in this. And the food and lactation techniques, what are the wrong things, what are the correct things, all the things are given. That's a wonderful book. And if you have the client base, wherein you manage uh, <clears throat> pregnant women or right, or you are a pediatrician or a gynecologist, then you should take up lactation counseling as well. So food allergy, typically we do that sensitive taste now. So related to all these questions, we will cover uh, sometime later, okay? Any other questions related to exam? So for, okay, I will answer Dr. Sai Tahija's question. So food allergy, there are three things. One is you come from the history, okay? The client, then we ask the client to reduce something, add something and keep on reducing and keep on adding something, okay? Or reduce maximum suspected things, then keep on adding one, one thing every week and find out, option one. Option two, for gluten and certain other food allergies, there are some tests available for blood, okay? They check it from your blood if antibodies are there for a particular food item, right? So that is another way. The third is the patch test, right? Typically we do in our medicine, the patch sensitive test. What they do is they take some allergens. They have a kit. So multiple allergens are there, okay? Including pollens, then uh, particular food and all those things. So whatever is suspected, they will put it uh, they will inject intradermally and put it and mark it. And then after 24 hours, they will check whether there is a redness or there is a swelling. If it is there, then it is a uh, person is sensitive for or allergic for that. Okay, good question, Jolin. So NSCA certificate is valid for lifetime. It will be mentioned on the certificate that it is valid for lifetime. You don't need to renew it. We do not charge for the renewal, okay? <coughs> you will save a lot of money on that. And the fees, what you have paid, it includes everything, exam fee, certificate fee, everything, books, registration fee, everything is included in the fees. We don't have any hidden charges. Questions? Do you think you are prepared for August exam? If you have read the book twice and still you are afraid, then to overcome your fear and develop your confidence, make sure you appear the exam. At the max, what will happen? You will fail. Then you can appear in <coughs> February, right? But if you are not read, then don't experiment. Don't waste your attempt because there are only two attempts. Exam will be comfortable, at least for passing, you will do. Those who score highest marks, we give them outstanding student award. And please send uh, everyone, please uh, this week, please send your video feedback. In the video feedback, start with your name, keep your mobile horizontally in front of you, right? Or vertically, preferably horizontally and don't try to be perfectionist, just make the video. Start with your uh, 
name, your qualification, background, introduction, your career journey so far, whatever has been the journey. Okay. Then why you selected an essay course and how are you liking the classes? How are the books? Books are colorful, hard copy, everything. And um, how are you liking Anishma's training? And mention her name so that it will add to her increment uh, next year for promotion. And obviously she got promoted this year as well because of the excellent feedback by all the students for management as well as nutrition courses. And then, uh, <clears throat> uh, then what are your learnings? Then what are you doing nowadays? You are taken up a job in NGO, school, fitness, wellness club, or you are done the freelancing tie up with wellness, fitness club or schools. So what have you done, right? So mention in the video, right? So please send, it can be two minutes to 10 minutes, any length, and don't hesitate to advertise yourself. If you have your own company, your clinic, or you're a doctor, show your clinic, your office in the video, start talk about yourself, and no worries if you uh, promote yourself. It is good, you should promote. We'll put it on a channel, so people will see that. So objective of the video is to get your feedback and, uh, to encourage others, to, to inspire others. Your videos will inspire others and for you to promote yourself. This week, who will send me the video? Please reply in the chat. Okay. Sharmila, thank you so much for sending the video. Dr. Manjari Golkar, a musician and Ayurveda doctor, very famous in Nasik and Ratnagiri area. Thank you for sending the video. Singer and musician. And uh, who else has sent the video? Uh, Dr. Shama has also sent the video. Thank you. So if you send the video, you are remembered and it is a way to express your gratitude towards your mentor and instructor. It is a way to inspire others by following your journey. It is a way to promote yourself on an SCA channel. Okay. Send one before exam this week and send one after exam also. Don't try to be perfectionist. If you do mistake, it's okay. Right. No need to make multiple shots, just single one video you make with mistakes, without mistake, anything is okay, don't worry. We are humans, we are supposed to make mistakes. Very good pile, thank you. Smruti, please send Bakula, Minakshi, Madhuri, very good. Ketki. So you can send on vtransfer.com. Okay, through. So you make a video and WhatsApp me. I will tell you how to send. I will give you my email ID also. So feel free to make the video of two minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Start with your complete journey. Promote yourself. So allow people to know that what background you come from, what is your inspiring story and what are you doing nowadays? Are you helping others? Are you helping your family, your clients, your paid client, free client, yourself? What are you doing? Whatever. Or it has add on to your job or uh, it has add on to your business, practice, counseling, uh, job opportunity, knowledge opportunity, whatever it is. You mentioned that. Okay. So make sure you mention Anishma's name also in the video. It will and send the video for uh, sake also for uh, Anishma. Okay, so that she gets higher ratings in her increment promotion. <clears throat> so once you make the video, you WhatsApp me, I will tell you how to send it. Okay. So for sending big files, vtransfer.com is the easier way. Any questions related to exam before we close? Everyone clear? <laughs>